so sorry about the the bad camera uh quality I, um recorded my last video already i forgot to recharge my batteries because i have not yet had the money to buy a new camera other than that we're gonna talk about this list i i saw this list like sunday night or whenever it first dropped because uh my first thing i heard was ja rule was mad and in this i'm like ja rule ja rule sounds like he should be on the top 50 list but let me see the list first and when i saw the list it's not the worst list in the world. Like, it's not as bad as, I know some of y'all probably saw this, uh, uh, what's it called list that went viral from a uh, tier. Somebody made like a tier, a tiered list of all the best rappers, which is one of the worst things I've ever seen um, in my life. Let me start with that real quick. Let me, let me show that on the screen. All right, well, I can't find it. I'm not gonna go look for it because it was trash. All right, so let's start here. Rick Ross at 50, I think is fine. I think Rick Ross is fine at 50. Um, Rick Ross's earlier body of work is low key game changing. Like Rick Ross was the bang. He made all the bangers between 03 and like 09. Like if there was a banger, it was a Rick Ross song, right? However, like it feels like, you know, he lost the weight and lost the fire. Like I can't think of the last time I was like, yo, turn on that Rick Ross. You know, he started making the same album over and over again. So, you know, if there's a place where you replace Ja Rule, this might be it. Let's keep it moving. So, Rev Run. Rev Run is tough. So, I don't know if anybody that's reacted to this list was actually alive when Run DMC was a thing, except me. You know, there are hip hop fans that I'm sure will make content around this that were that are around my age, but I'm old enough to remember Run DMC in their heyday, even though I was very young. And I, I, I'm not feeling like there's people I need on this list that I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice Rev Run for. I'm sorry. Has anybody in the 30, 40 years since Run DMC has stopped rhyming like how often are their bars repeated? A little bit, but not much. So like, if this is a group list, of course. But yeah, this is this Rev Run. Yeah, I just, I, I gotta let him go too. Melly Mel has to be on the list. Um, there's a, there's a, there's a deep story around like the origins of hip hop. I don't feel like I'm not about to retrace the whole story. Melly Mel has to be on the list though. He has to be on the list more than Run. He has to be on the list more than, I don't know. I don't think Grandmaster Flash is on here, um, but he has to be on the list. It is what it is. So moving on. MC Light, cool. This feels low. MC Light is one of the few women that like was a dominant force in that era. Um, MC Light was a crazy lyricist. MC Light had bangers. MC Light had club hits. MC Light has to be on the list. My only thing is maybe she needs to be higher. I would probably put MC Light over Queen Latifah. Real talk. Jadakiss. Jadakiss, is, Jadakiss belongs on this list. There's people I recall higher on the list than Jadakiss. So I'm going to say Jadakiss needs to be at least a couple of notches higher. Um, Jadakiss, y'all don't, don't understand. This is what I look like in undergrad. So me and Jadakiss got a real close relationship. Cause I was definitely trying to bite Jada Kiss's style in O2. Like, <laughs> all right, next up, who's next? Ice-T belongs on the list. Ice-T doesn't get enough flowers for how groundbreaking and legendary he is, you know, in, in multiple forms. Even if you're just talking about the rapper to actor uh, pipeline, like Ice-T, you know, it's 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 hard to even explain. Ice T has really he he is really like really should be in the probably the top twenty, if you ask me, for like the body of work that he had just based on hits, um, let alone a uh, body count. You know. All right, so yeah, I feel like I feel like if I had to, I would switch Queen. I feel like if I had to, I would switch Queen with MC Light. Just on or just on the pure hip hop tip, but it's hard to explain. It's just I, I would I would I would switch Queen with MC Light.
because because light i don't know light was just more just, just more ingrained in hip-hop at that time queen like spent a lot of time this was straight hip-hop and they started doing tv and acting and singing and that's dope that's all still dope but if we're just talking about rappers if we're talking about the the pillars of hip-hop if you will i feel like nc uh, like so queen had a bigger impact yeah but light was the the purest artist in the in the in the in the form in, the, in terms of the art form all right this might have been my first like nah i don't know how bun b is in at least top 30 i gotta go back and look through no there were several people above bun b that i'm like nah this this person shouldn't be above bun b. like southern hip-hop is my favorite like formula of hip-hop and bun b is a king of that framework and I don't understand why he's this low. I don't understand why he's this low. Um, I think Redman is best served here. I don't know if he's too high or too low, but he belongs on the list. So that's cool. E-40, same thing. I feel like Ice-T, if you're talking about like West Coast rappers, who do you put Ice-T over E-40? E-40 is so influential. Nah, okay. I take that back. I take that back. E-40 is like such an innovator been doing it for so long has hits for decades like literally e40's first hits are in the late 90s up until to the 2010s and and that's really you know he he's fine where he is all right this is the first big l to me this is the first i don't i i don't i won't blame it on i won't blame it on i don't know what to blame it on but Dr. Dre has no business being on. <laughs> Dr. Dre has no business being on his list. Not for rappers. Not for rappers. This is absurd. This is absurd. This is like, like Prizewell being on the list. Like Dr. Dre is a hip hop legend. Dr. Dre has a couple of dope songs. The Chronic is an all time great album. Chronic 2001 is a really good album. He has no other albums. <laughs> he barely rapped with NWA. He barely rapped on his own albums. It really is a like, we just gotta put Dre on the list type of situation. No, no. Like there's no reason. There's no reason that Dre is on his list. I love Dr. Dre, all due, all due respect. Ludacris is too low. All right, so here's, here's one of my weird take heels. Ludacris is at least top 20. People sleep so hard on Ludacris because he was such a commercial rapper. He was goofy. He was a little silly, but literally hit for hit. There's no, there's few rappers with more hits than Ludacris, period. Ludacris has so many hits, especially from my time, from, from like my time period hip-hop circa 99 to like 2010 luda was on the radio once a month every year all right y'all gonna be mad gucci man shouldn't be on this list i'm sorry this might be me i've never much liked gucci man i didn't like old gucci man i don't like new gucci man he just don't do it for me He's just don't. I've never, I've tried so hard because everybody I love and respect likes Gucci, man. And I'm like, Gucci, man, that's, that's how he's always sounded to me. He's always sounded like that to me. And I like mumble rap a bit. And it's just, it's never done. And so for him to be this this high, I just, I don't know. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to listen to Gucci Mane one more time this weekend and see and see if it, it, it fixes it. But like, yes, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Don't, don't unsubscribe. Don't unsubscribe. All right, moving on. Common is one of my top five personal uh, rappers. Just as a as a uh, you know, as Chicago bias, of course. Um, Common's earlier body of work stands up to anybody's. 
his later body of work has not been all that interesting. It's hard to to make your eighth album good in in a way that's truly significant. Like everybody can't be the root. Anyway, moving on. But Common deserves that spot, so that's cool. Um, Yasin Bay, formerly Most Deaf. Um, I think this is solid. He maybe could be lower just because of the body of work. He has one of the best hip hop albums of all time. I agree with Fantano in that, in terms of black on both sides, that shit. Boy, that shit put a backpack on my, like black on both sides had a backpack permanently glued to me for like two years. All right, moving on. Future might need to be higher. So like there's multiple people responsible for hip hop sound right now. Kanye is probably the like biggest influence um, or the, the inception, right? Um, you probably got to give some of it to Gucci, like Gucci made mumble rap a thing. But I don't feel like hip hop's sound up until drill kind of took over in the last couple of years. I don't know if hip hop sound is more influenced by anybody outside of Future. Future is influenced R&B and pop, you know? Like people, like, let me explain mumble rap real quick. Cause some of y'all don't, I think don't understand that it's mumble rap because, <clears throat> excuse me, these dudes were literally drunk and high off lean and syrup in the studio to the point where they were slurring their lyrics. And they did that enough, Gucci, Future, Young Thug, etc., that it became part of their aesthetic. And so now I will you will hear uh Justin Bieber do a mumble rap RB RB pop song. You know what I'm saying? And it'll not just have that z -z 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 like slur, but it'll also have the 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 sound. And so I feel like future might need to be higher. So I'll see. So y'all tell me, tell me when I get to a spot. So who, so who need to be higher? Who need to be higher? So, so we got Gucci and Dre all fall together. Luda maybe could take, goes a couple of spots higher. Oh, Bun B definitely need to be higher. So I don't know. We'll see. Chuck D. Chuck D is, Chuck D is uh, like the father of conscious rap. Um, the music has an age. I don't think their music is aged as well as you would want it to. Um, even politically, is aged kind of poorly. But like you know, you can't you can't talk about the, the you can't tell the story of hip you can't tell the story of hip hop without Chuck D. Um, Busta might be too low. Um, Busta, I feel like I don't have to explain this. Busta just might be too low. I don't know. I got to see what that top thirty looking like. All right, where we at? Ti. This is low-key blasphemic. I don't know if T.I. needs to be on this list. I don't know if T.I. need. I think this is, I think this is based off reputation. Have y'all listened to a T.I. album? T.I.'s first, I'm not better than this. I'm not better than this. No, I'm not. I don't think T.I. needs to be on this list. Definitely not in the top 30. I'm sorry. T.I. has a couple of dope tracks. He's an interesting figure for positive and negative reasons. But if he's on this list, he's 48, 49. T.I.'s discography is mid. It's mid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I'm in Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta. I, I've been here. I've met T.I. a couple times because he just be around. <laughs> but T.I., 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 his first album is good. Um, trap music is good. After that, I don't. It may be like one more. I have to go back. I have to. I'm gonna get Ti another listen. Maybe I'm missing it, but like Ti does not have a great catalog. He has some good tracks, but like let me let me look. Let me look. Let's go. Let's go. Let me double check. All right. So, so trap music that's dope. Urban Legend is dope. Paper Trail is dope. Um, I'm Serious is dope. But a lot of this other stuff, it it, it, it ain't really like y'all got to go back and really listen. Don't think about Ti's um, legacy. Don't think about how he, how much he's respected or the fact that he called himself the king of the south. Just say Ti's actual albums. After Ti versus Tip, that shit gets real. I'm um, after King because Ti versus Tip wasn't good.
So his first four albums are pretty good. After that, it gets real mid. Paper Trail might be the only good thing after T.I. versus T.I.P. Legacy is part of your rubric, but if the legacy is not based on the actual rapping, much like Dr. Dre, I don't know. So I feel like T.I. need to be off this list. I definitely put several people above him if he stays on. All right, moving on. Lil' Kim, I think is straight. Um, you know, I have to keep going to see if anybody put over her, but Lil' Kim, I think is straight there. Ooh, y'all not gonna like this one. Y'all not gonna like this one. Lauren Hill should not be on this list. All right, y'all, that's it. And y'all, I made a whole video. I made a whole video. I don't have to explain it. Y'all know I love Lauren Hill. Yeah, so Lauren Hill has three, three albums where she where she raps. Um, the first Uji, Fuji's album, which is okay, it's cool. The second Fuji's album, which is a classic, and then Miss Education, which is a classic. But it's like, and she was a great lyricist. She was the best rapper in that era. Lauren Hill could be a top five figure if she stuck around, but she didn't stick around. And so if I can't, if I won't put Dre on here, I don't know if I can put Lauren on here. If I say T, I need to go off the list because his, um, because this stuff ain't, you know, and oh, don't hold up. Like, I don't know. I just don't feel right to put people, you know, like a Lupe Fiasco, uh, that have a whole body of work off the list altogether. Missy Elliott. Is Missy on this list? I think Missy's not even on this list. Like, there's too many people. But it's like, and she was a great lyricist. She was the best rapper in that era. Lauren Hill could be a top five figure if she stuck around, but she didn't stick around. And so if I can't, if I won't put Dre on here, I don't know if I can put Lauren on here. This is for love. This is a this is a most beloved rappers list. For that, I give it to her, but like beyond that, nah. Pusha T's too high, but I think maybe he should be on the list. Pusha T's a bit of a one trick pony, but he's really good at that one trick. Yeah, like, you know, you know Pusha T is gonna get, it's gonna say something in any verse he's in to make your face go like this. Make you do one of these. Like, I get it, but I feel like he's too high. I feel like he should be closer to the 40s. All right, moving on. Black Thought. I, so this is another one. I don't I don't know. I don't know who's in the top 27. It's hard for me to put Black Thought not at least in the top 20, top 15 in my head. Do y'all understand? Black Thought, if we're talking about the pure essence of hip hop, MC, rap ability, Black Thought is number one, period. If you're talking about just the purest form of what hip hop rap music is, when you grab that mic and you open your mouth, regardless of the surroundings, whether it's a stadium, whether it's a cypher in a door in a, in a basement, Black Thought is number one. So yeah, so Black Thought, I don't know. It's hard for me. It's hard for me to see why he's not higher. I gotta see who's higher. Moving on. Q tip. Q tip is good. He probably should be lower, but like. He, he needs to be on here. Q-Tip was always the strongest out of Tribe. You got to make sure Tribe is represented. You know, um, Q-Tip didn't do a lot of records after his one solo album. So it's, it's hard to give him a lot more love, but Tribe has five classics, like five classic albums. I don't know who, how many people have five classics. Moving on. Big Pun don't need to be on his list. This one blew me. This one blew me. I do not get this. I do not get this. Big Pun has two albums. One of them's not all that good. And one of them's pretty good. Him being in the top 30 is crazy to me. I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, Method Man. <laughs> Method Man, if he's going to be on this list, 
needs to be way lower. If he's going to be on this list, needs to be way lower. Way, he needs to be 48. And on the flip side, because I think they were back-to-back, I know. Karis went at 24. Doesn't feel right, but it might be right. It doesn't feel right, but it might be right. It feels like Karis one should be higher, but I don't know. It, it, it just doesn't feel right. I was a big KRS one fan. KRS one has some classics from like my heyday, that like mid nineties, early two thousands era. KRS one has classics. Step into my world. MCs act like they don't know. Um, uh, tell me what the fuck I'm supposed to do. I don't remember the name of that one. He's got some classic joints, but it's hard to, it's, it's hard to think should he really be higher. I am not sure about this one. I'm a little too... So here's why I... This is not a hill I'm a stand on. Not a hill I'm a stand on. So I'm a little too young to remember Curtis Blow. But I'm old enough that the people that would have been caping for Curtis Blow should have said something about him. He's a he's a historical figure, but he doesn't really have a t- if he's going to be here, it needs to be much lower because he doesn't have he don't have a legacy that's that's like he doesn't have an impact. He's a star. He's a person that's important to the origins, but like literally the influence over time is minimal. So this is the boomer figure of the uh, of the list, I think. It don't feel right him in top 25. All right, Ghostface feels like he's too uh, low, but I got to see who else is there. Every time I say that, somebody pops up where I'm like, yeah, you need to come down the list. So Ghostface might need to be top 20. DMX feels about right. Feels about right. DMX is very influential, but his music, a lot of his, like his whole body of work to me hasn't held up well. DMX is an awesome figure in hip hop from like a, a a cultural analysis standpoint, but uh, he feels about right, possibly too high. Oh my God, is Big Daddy Kane 20? 20 is really high. 20 is really high. So top 20, that may be about right. The, 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 the preteen in me feels like Big Daddy Kane should be top five, but over the over the scope of the culture of like of the last 50 years yeah big daddy kane's high should be higher than karis one definitely big daddy kane was the jay-z of his era so so yeah so 20s is probably right it feels like it's too low um but but 20 20 is probably right so this is probably that this is probably the most appropriate pick oh missy is here oh thank god okay uh all right okay cool Missy is dope. The worst thing about music right now is that Missy ain't making enough of it. Um, Missy, of course, wasn't a great lyricist, but she was clever as fuck on the mic. Like, because people think being a good lyricist is just saying the most ill, lyrical, miracle, you know, spiritual, individual lyrics, you know, whatever this, uh, you know, saying the smoothest, most illest shit. But being a good lyricist is also just saying really clever things that stick with you things that you want to repeat cube is too high maybe cube's not too high that may be i may be tripping i may have to let me let me let me pull that back let me pull that back i may be tripping because i don't like who ice cube has become so america's most wanted oh lord america versus wanted lethal injection so after lethal injection everything gets a little yeah uh, but like those two by themselves death certificate and then you count NWA. Okay, so Cube's probably okay. Cube is probably cool. I'm just, I'm salty over Cube's. I'm salty over all the rappers becoming hyper capitalists later in life. Um, Predator, yeah. So let me, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. You know, that was, that was, I was in my feelings right that, right there. So he's, he's good. Cube is good.
Ja Rule belongs on this list before 50 Cent. Ja Rule belongs on this list before 50 Cent. 50 Cent has fooled y'all into thinking he had some type of amazing rap career. He did not. He did not. Get Rich or Die Trying is pretty good. Everything else 50 Cent has ever done is mid. But he's 50 Cent. So it feels like he should be on the list. Go ahead, go ahead, drop in the chat all them 50 Cent's bangers outside of Get Rich or Die Trying. Go ahead, drop in the chat. This is this is the correct take. Embrace it. I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. Let me let's go to 50 Cent discography. I've been waiting on this one. Y'all went. This is the one I knew I was gonna have the most heat for. The Massacre, mid. Curtis, mid. His last two albums I never even heard. He's got four albums according to um uh, according to Wikipedia. One, two, three, four, five. Y'all remember this? Animal Ambition? If 50 didn't do his albums, Rat would be dead. What? This is what I'm talking about. Rat will be dead, why? 50 came out, Jay was killing it. Kanye, Kanye killed 50. Kanye killed 50. The hip hop didn't need 50. 50 was a bow on an era that Kanye ended. Oh my God. I'm, 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 this might end up being a video. I'm gonna figure out a reason to do this. Ja Rule ship. Yes. Ja, y'all don't like it because Ja Rule was corny as shit. Where is it? This is the incorrect take TRN 34. Ja Rule dominated a section of hip hop for a time. It was not the best, but Ja Rule came out in like 98 and it wasn't until like 03 that we stopped hearing from Ja Rule. He wasn't a great rapper, but he was better than what we remember because of 50 Cent. And 50 Cent came in with some Jedi mind tricks and it's amazing. He gets to be on this list just for convincing motherfuckers that he should be on his list. But 50 really don't need to be in the top 50. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know that. I know that. I know that one is, is spicy. But it is what it is. He's way too high if he's on this list at all. Scarface feels like he's right. I don't know who I'm. Oh, I know who's. Oh, my God. I got another one that's about to piss me off coming up soon. I just remembered who's coming up real soon. That definitely should not ever in this be over Scarface. But Scarface is about right. It's not Drake. It's not Drake. Y'all gonna y'all gonna know it when y'all see it. <laughs> so Scarface is a legend. Scarface probably might be top 10. Um he he's amazing. His stuff, like a lot of these older rappers, their old stuff doesn't hold up. Scarface's old stuff holds up. Yeah. So moving on. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting on this one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jermaine. Cole. I fucks with J. Cole. I think even J. Cole is like, y'all, y'all tripping. J. Cole belongs on this list, maybe in the 40s. He belongs on this list. J. Cole, top 15? Top 15? Top 15 is asinine that you will put J. Cole over Scarface, Ghostface, Common, um, who else? So many people on this list. And then, then Lupe's not on the list. It, it's, it's so many people that shouldn't be above, shouldn't be below J. Cole. Yeah, this is wild. This is where the list lost me. I was given a list of pass until I saw, um, 50 and J. Cole in the top 20. And that's when I was like, yeah, this is going to be content.
I'm, my hands ain't lining up. Here we go. Right here. This right here. I'm not gonna cook J. Cole because I love J. Cole, but he doesn't belong top 15. This is more about the people that made the list than J. Cole. Cause because J. Cole is like my favorite rapper as like a person, kind of. I love his energy around hip hop. But you know, his music has never been not top 15. LL's probably right. That's probably a good spot for LL. I think people sleep on LL because he's he was, you know, early commercial rap. Him and Big Daddy Kane battled for the era. I guess if I'm, if, I guess to be real, LL should be Jay Z from that era. But the the more like the more serious hip hop fans prefer Big Daddy Kane. But LL is right. LL is in a good spot. Rakim, Rakim not being top ten don't feel right. So let's see. So let's see who who is above, um, aside from Drake, which we already know. Aside from Drake. I don't know who else we will pull out of the top 10. I got to see the top 10 to see who else we will pull out. Um, you know, uh, Rakim is definitely, he should be top 10, but like, I don't know. I got to see who else we got to pull out the top 10. Andre 3000 being 12 is tough. I think Andre gets too much credit for his guest versus, but you have to also include the Outcast discography, which is for my in it, for my to me, that's the top discography in all of music. Um, so being being below Drake, that's blasphemic, but we already know Drake being here. It just is what it is. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It feels like he should be top 10. So let's. So we got two top 10 replacements. And then we get to um, Kanye being 11 also feels wrong. You know, I'm not gonna get into Kanye West discourse right now, but Kanye being 11 feels wrong. We gotta see that top 10 again. I gotta see who's in the top 10. Um, Kanye feels like a top five rapper, but I gotta see. He feels like, yeah, he low key feel like a top three, you know, I don't know if this is just a response to Kanye's everything else right now. Oh, uh, Lord. All right, so next we got Nikki. I told y'all before Nikki would be in my top 10, so I'm not going to renege on that take. Um, You know, y'all don't have to like it. You definitely don't have to like Nikki, but I don't feel like this is wrong. Let's see. what Who's... All right, so Snoop being top... Okay, so yeah, Snoop goes down. Snoop can switch with both Andre and Kanye. Snoop feels like a top 10 rapper, but I I just can't put him over Kanye and Andre. You know, Snoop should be like 11, 12. So Snoop's a little too high, but he he it's not egregious. What's egregious is this shit right here. <laughs> oh! Yeah, the picture is disrespectful. This might be the whole video. It's just me like sitting here staring at this. <laughs> I just, I just don't know what to do with hip hop right now. I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with hip hop right now. I think saying Drake doesn't belong on the list is hyperbolic. That's probably hyperbolic. Drake being above so many of these rappers and rappers that weren't on the list is absurd. It's asinine. I just... Ugh. Yeah, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. It is what it is. I don't know what to do with hip hop. Y'all got hip hop. Y'all got it. Um, Wayne seems... I, I, yeah, I put, I put Kanye over Wayne easy i put kanye over wayne easy other than that i don't know if I, I don't know if i wouldn't put andre over wayne but i definitely put kanye over wayne but wayne belongs here wayne wayne is probably about right it's wild they got this michael jackson looking uh, picture of him it just seems odd for wayne's actual image big being six big is low-key a little overrated People are not gonna like that. My old head brethren are not gonna like that. Big is low key overrated. 
So I'm fine with him here, but Big can honestly be a little lower. I know it sounds blasphemic. Go listen to Big's music. It sounds blasphemic because the culture, I get you. Go listen to Big's music. Go listen to his two and a half albums. They don't hold up that well. But, you know, yeah, people going people, people gonna to feel like this is crazy. But yeah, Eminem over Big, is that makes sense to me. You know? I'm, this is probably where most old heads will have the most issue is Eminem over Big. In real talk, I don't have a problem with it. People, so it's it's fun to like, it's fun to talk about how cringe Eminem is now, but if you were there in 97, from like 96 to like 2002-ish, it wasn't just like Eminem was that dude. And it's it's weird because Eminem is like the reverse, Eminem is like reverse white privilege in a weird way because like there's so many rappers that were just as cringe as Eminem then and now, but like they don't get the same treatment. Eminem, like the way people like shit on Eminem now was weird to me. Cause like people that were there then it's like, no, it was that, that Eminem was a top, top person, you know? Pocket four is cool. Because if I remember the next three, I was like, yeah, that sounds about right. Is it Nas, Kendrick, Jay-Z in that order? I have a hard time putting Kendrick over Nas. Right about now, I have a hard time putting Jay-Z over Nas. Nah. So Nas is number one. We're going we're gonna to edit that. We're going to put that on the screen. Nas is number one, but we'll, we're fine. Yeah, Nas, like now... Like be like before I would have been with you, but Nas's late career run from 2019 to now, he leapfrogs Jay over Kendrick. But Nas has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 albums over 30 years. Nas don't got hella does. Let me see. All right. Illmatic, classic. It was written classic. I Am is good. Nostradamus is not as bad as people make it out to be. It's not as bad as people make it out to be. Stillmatic is good. It's not a classic, but it's good. Godson is good. Streets Disciple was probably his worst album. Hip Hop is Dead is okay. I honestly don't remember Untitled, so that must be a dud. I have to go back and I don't even remember this one. Untitled in 08? Must be a dud. Life is Good is good. Nasir was good. And yeah, like, no, I'm sorry. Nas doesn't have that many duds. Stillmatic is not great, but it ain't as bad as people made it out to be. So yeah, I just feel like Nas should be number one. Nas leapfrogged everybody in the last three, four years. So then we go to Kendrick. Um, Kendrick belongs in the top three, top five. Easy. Kendrick hasn't had a bad album. Every Kendrick album is a classic. At ish, I don't. I, I, part the old head in me has has a trouble putting Kendrick number one. Kendrick needs. I need one more like groundbreaking classic from Kendrick to put him number one. Just one more. Miss Morale's not a classic. Miss Morale's really good. Damn is not a classic. Damn is really good. T Pab is a classic. My favorite Kendrick album is Untitled Unmastered. Whatever Kendrick was going through between T Pab and Damn, like T Pab and Untitled Unmastered, better than most anything. Um, and then we got uh Good Kid Matt City in section 80. That's a lot. That's a lot. I just feel like when I think about the number one rapper of all time, when I'm talking about Nas and Jay-Z, you're talking about, you know, people with like two or three albums that changed hip hop. And so I don't know if Damn and Mr. Morale changed hip hop like that. And then Jay-Z is number one is, is pretty easy, especially in the nature of this list, because this list is clearly about the impact 
Um, Jay-Z has a lot of duds, but Jay-Z is such an icon in hip-hop. I don't think it's hard to argue with this. I still put Nas above all both of them, but like it's hard to argue with this. I'm not gonna, I'm, I wouldn't put Jay-Z above Nas, like personally. And I'm not gonna ding Jay-Z for his hyper-capitalist nonsense either right now, not for the list. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is this is it. Shout out to Elliot saying, Nas is the better artist, Jay-Z is the bigger artist. You know, so Kendrick, another 10 years of Kendrick doing what he's doing, then he's number one, but for him to be number one over Nas and Jay, he would have needed to have repeated t pad one more time. Yeah, so this list, so to give this list a grade, this list gets a B minus. It has some really solid entries, but but J. Cole is egregious. Um, Dr. Dre is egregious. The absence of MF Doom, Lupe, um, uh, Drake being top 10. So I give it a B minus. I can't think of too many real the, the worst was the worst is j cole being as high overall who was my who was the worst who pissed me off the most oh 50 50 was way too high so their worst takes the wor absolute worst takes so number one is kanye not being in the top 10 i feel like that's just recency bias i get why but if we're just talking about the music so kanye not being top 10 is an l j cole being in the top 20 top 15 is an l 50 being in the top 40 is an l 50 could really easily be left off this list method being top 25 is probably an l big pun was an l ti being on the list this high was an l so this this only had like five for six really big l's is 50 top 1000 sure but top 50 top 20 is is letting the the reputation out outdo the the actual content